In life, we experience a lot of firsts, like maybe you were the first in your family to travel outside the country, or maybe even the first one to graduate high school. For one St. Louis native, she's full of firsts, and now she's in a position to help others achieve what she has already. I felt like I, I, I wasn't gonna be the, the product of my environment. I realized there was something bigger outside of North St. Louis. Growing up near the intersection of Kings Highway and Natural Bridge, Neil Ivey was determined to use the game of basketball to get out. As the baby of the family and the only girl, Ivy noticed her brothers became a part of her vision, opening her eyes wide enough to see where she wanted to be. I actually found my passion was watching my brothers and following them when they were playing. This is where the pattern of first started for Ivy. Her brother's tough love prepared her to not only chase her dreams, but to bring them to fruition. She led Corey Azu to their first ever state title in high school, and that huge accomplishment only fueled the fire. I wanted to, you know, continue um, going to to college and um, be the first person in my family to go to college. That was important to me. Ivy did that and some. Many remember her in college where she helped Notre Dame win their first national championship. That's two championships in just a few years. And it was only a matter of time before the professionals came knocking at her door. Ivy was drafted to play in the WNBA and shortly after life delivered another opportunity. This one off the court. Ivy was blessed with a son. That I was more trying to be a survivor because I was, you know, I was like new mom. I, I had that, that was a whole set of challenges. Um, so I didn't realize, I didn't know how long I wanted to play, um, but I knew that um, I could do both. And I, it was, it was very, um, you know, very, very hard going through that. Similar to the lesson she learned on the north side of St. Louis, Ivy kept it pushing. She played five years in the WNBA and then decided to trade her playing shoes for pumps. As the assistant coach of her alma mater, Ivy helped lead Notre Dame to seven Final Four appearances, but the resume doesn't stop there. Ivy became the first women's assistant coach in Memphis Grizzlies history. I learned about culture, building a foundation, building a new team. So I learned so many, so many valuable um, lessons. Before Ivy knew it, she was taking all that NBA knowledge to yet another first. This, the biggest of them all. Ivy was named the Notre Dame head women's basketball coach, making her the first black head coach in Notre Dame history, a role she's dreamed of and an opportunity she won't regret. I don't take any, more, any moment for granted. I know how, um, how important this is and, and how important it is for young girls to see me in this role, to in this powerful position. I'm just, I'm just fortunate and blessed. Ivy says she hopes her journey can inspire others that look like her to achieve their dreams and to be the first because she says anything is possible if you surround yourself around the right people. And that'll do it in sports. I'm Ahmad Hicks. Let's send it back to the studio.